This is the Michael Bayston Show podcast, powered by BaystonLive.com and available on iTunes. The Michael Bayston Show podcast starts now. Always great to have this gentleman on, uh, George Frazier, author of the a classic, I call it a classic book on business, Success Runs in Our Race. Got so much to talk about today, living your dream. Of course, uh, George's uh, summit on Economic Summit that's taking place in Somerset, New Jersey, and of course, a very important uh, project, the Haiti Project. How you doing, man? Great to have you back. It's good to be back, Michael. Good to hear your voice, and God bless you for all the work you're doing in the community, the way you serve our community. Uh, no wonder you are successful. You you understand that, that, that life is about loving, giving, serving, and adding value, and you do all four of those things. I got to tell you guys this. George is one of the few guys that supported me when I first got started. I'm always going to remind people about that, man, because you really encouraged me when a lot of other people were, as expression goes, hating. So thank you so much. George, what is the problem with most people have living their dreams? Is it the lack of money, time, the fear of failure, or the lack of support? I think it's really uh, all four things. We could talk about them individually, but fear, and you know, fear, you've heard that I was saying false evidence appearing real. Uh, I think people have the fear of failure. And, and, and I think we need to get over that because, you know, success, Michael, is a very poor teacher. It is failing. Hmm. It's where we learn all of our lessons. So I tell people, fail fast. I mean, if you're doing anything in life, if <laughs> like you're taking that. risks, you are going to fail. I mean, if you're not failing, um, you're not doing anything. You're not living life on the edge. So you have to get beyond this fear of thinking creative, using your imagination, and, and doing things that, that uh, take you out of your comfort zone. And, and once you're out of your comfort zone, you, you have to be willing to do the work and to take the risks. And then that's when you're going to learn. Failure, you know, ultimately is, I believe, the great motivation and, and the great teacher in our life. I mean, that's, I've learned all of my great lessons from the many failures, not the successes that I have. You know, when I fail, that becomes my guidepost, that becomes my landmark, and that becomes my critical reminder of what not to do again in life. So my lessons come from getting over fear. That's the false evidence of appearing real. We've got to embrace failure. We've got to face failure. We've got to examine when we fail, and then we have to make mid-course corrections, and then we use that, that failure to sort of regroup uh, to get up and to start punching again. And, and we've seen it time and time again with Muhammad Ali. Is How about fight that? that he lost? He got, he got knocked down, but he got back up. He failed in that round, but he, he succeeded in the other 13 rounds. So this is a metaphor for life. Failure is a part of life because if you're taking risks, if you're doing anything worth talking about, anything significant, you are, in fact, taking risks, you are failing, and then you are learning from those failures. I got to ask you this, George. Last time you were on the show, can you tell people the difference between business and business? <laughs> uh, I get, uh, because of you, Michael, I get uh, 100 questions a week on that. Yes. Um, you know, one of the things we focus on in PhrasingNet is putting business people out of business and putting business people in business. Because business people, we know who they are. They give us a business card that says that they do hair, they, they do nails, uh, they do software, and they fix computers. In fact, I'm not sure what they do. So, so business people do re- really do not have their act together, and they're really messing it up for, for the brothers and sisters who are in business trying to do business with excellence and with amazingness. So our job is to put the business people out of business, right? So because they don't, you know, they, they don't deserve to be in business. In fact, everybody should not be in business. Everybody should not be entrepreneurs. In fact, there's some black people that should not be within 100 yards of owning a damn business. Why? Get Why, George? Why do you say that? Because they have not the discipline, mm-hmm. uh, the training, uh, the resources to take their business where it needs to go. They're dabbling. They're experimenting, and there's nothing wrong with those two things as long as, as we said earlier, as long as you're learning and constantly never ending improvement in your business. That's mm. a huge thing. We must constantly have never-ending improvement. And there are many of us that are just not committed enough to our businesses to figure out where we've gone wrong, to correct that, okay? Uh, and, and they're just people that need direction and that people who need uh, to be working for people who will give them the proper direction. So about there are lots of us, more of us should be in business, but enough that there are too many of us 
who are in business who are not serious about it, not deeply committed that? to it, and have no focus. I have to agree with you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking to George Frazier, uh, author of a very legendary book on business, Success Runs in Our Race. He's got a business economic summit going on in Somerset, New Jersey. It's going to take place from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at First Baptist Church of Lincoln Gardens. You all need to get the details. It's on Bays and Live on Twitter and Facebook. What's going to happen at the summit, George? This summit will be talking about how we, uh, how we attain financial freedom that ultimately leads to financial dignity. So there will be presentations around workshops, uh, plenary sessions, a town hall meeting to, uh, to, to discuss an economic recovery plan for black America. We'll talk, we'll have workshops with uh, Cheryl Broussard, uh, Emmerich Peace from the National Association of Real Estate Brokers on doing business in our own backyard, urban America, the next frontier for entrepreneurs. We'll have a workshop on the keys to unlocking wealth for the average American through home ownership. We'll have a workshop on money mastery, the seven keys to financial freedom and debt free living. The Moses Project, which is really an act Acronym meaning making ourselves economically successful. I like has that. Three simple goals. Three simple goals. One, to get one million black people to pledge to the Ten Commitments for Financial Freedom. That's part of the Moses Project program. The second goal is to get one million black people to become debt free, Michael, within the next three years, excluding mortgage. And the third and final goal is to get one million black people saving at least $50 per month. Because my daddy taught me something very simple many years ago. If you save your money, your money will save you. If you only have a few dollars, you can only do a few things. And that's one of the reasons that people cannot live their dreams. It's because they do not have the kind of money and the kind of invested resources necessary to, to make their dreams come true because they have not saved their money. So this is what we're going to be talking about at the Moses Project uh, under the, uh, the renowned Reverend Dr. DeForest Soares. Uh, and, and I'm so thankful to our sponsor for this because you can't do this without outside support and sponsorship from Prudential and J.P. Morgan Chase and our friends at the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. So we want to pack the place out, and all people need to do is either call uh, the office here and get a registration or go to our site, Moses Project Summit, mosesprojectsummit.com, mosesprojectsummit.com, or they can register on Saturday when they come. But we want to pack it out. We've got all, all, already over 200 people. But this is the place where you will come to get the tools, to learn, to get the education, to get the training, to take your business, to take your life, to take your family, to take our community to the next level economically, to close the income and wealth gap, to help us do this between blacks and whites in America, and to attain financial dignity. This is what we need in the 21st century. George Frazier, author of the book Success Runs in Our Rates. All the details about the project, go to www.themosesprojectsummit.com. We got it posted on Bays and Live on Twitter and Bays and Live on Facebook. I know you're very passionate about what's going on in Haiti. Tell me about the Haiti uh, Support Project, George Frazier. The Haiti Support Project is led by the renowned Dr. Ron Daniels, who is the founder of the Support Project and one of the leading African-American experts in Haiti. I mean, this guy deserves, uh, I think, the, the U.S. Peace Prize for what the work that he has done in Haiti. Uh, there's a new president and prime minister in Haiti, uh, President uh, Michel Joseph Martelli. In fact, Dr. Daniels was uh, invited to the inauguration. But uh, there is renewed hope, uh, Michael, for speeding up the recovery and the reconstruction. Good. However, you know, Haiti is still in dire need of massive assistance in a number of areas, rubble removal, housing, jobs, and education, and, and many other things. And even under the best circumstances, Michael, it's going to take at least a decade for wow. Haiti to recover. So there is a particular need to focus on aiding um, the more than 200,000 children who will often by the earthquake. And, and towards that end, the Haiti Support Project is working with our partner in Haiti, Lionel Pressois. By the way, he was recently featured on the PBS Frontline series. He's an incredible guy. But he's on the ground in Haiti to launch what he calls the Oasis Institute campaign with the goal of ultimately building the Oasis Academy as a home for up to 1,000 children often by the earthquake and to provide counseling, quality education, and training, and civil engagement so these children can become the next engaged citizens and leaders of Haiti. So we're appealing to you and we're appealing to everybody in the audience, especially our, Korea, uh, our um, Haitian uh, brothers and sisters out there, uh, Michael, to adopt this initiative and, uh, and to turn this dream into a reality. And all they need to do is go to the website, www.ibboy.org, I B 
W21.org. They can do that right now to view a video on the Oasis Institute campaign, and they can contribute to that effort. The second thing is that not only do we want to provide humanitarian police uh, uh, relief for these children, frankly, uh, you know, a lot of Haitians are tired of being dependent on aid and assistance from others. So people like Lionel want to see uh, Haiti become more self-reliant through business and economic development. So despite all the images of poverty and misery, there are huge opportunities for African Americans to partner with Haitians to build or invest in businesses in Haiti. So Dr. Daniels is leading a delegation to Haiti in January and is inviting persons from your audience, Michael, who want to see the other side of Haiti and join him in this uh, in this pilgrimage. Now, I've been to Haiti with Dr. Daniels, and I've seen the potential, enormous business potential for African Americans in Haiti. So folks who are interested, all they need to do is go to the website, www.ibw21.org, www.ibw21.org, to review the information and register to come to Haiti. Now, we're past the deadline, but folks from your audience, Michael, are still welcome to make this incredible pilgrimage to Haiti with Dr. Daniels and other VIPs, myself. It's going to be incredible. I've done this with Dr. Daniels, and it was a real eye-opening experience. Ladies and gentlemen, George Frazier, all the details about all the events is going on. The Moses Project Economic Summit in Somerset, New Jersey is posted on Bayes Live on Twitter and Facebook. All the details about the Haiti Support Project as well. And of course, we put a blog up to connect you directly to Amazon.com to check out his book, Success Runs in Our Race. This is the Michael Bayesden Show. This podcast is a presentation of the Michael Bayesden Show.